Hi, I'm Brian, and today we're going to make fried pickles. First, I'm going to go over how, all the different ingredients we have here, starting with over here. So over here we have flour, and this is just our, our base, along with what's next to it is the uh, cornmeal. And this is going to be so we can like, batter our pickles and, and make it uh, a nice, uh, fluffy mixture we'll have. And I'll get more into that once we start baking. The vegetable oil is for the frying, obviously, and that will come out of our very last stage when we, when we fry our mixture. The milk is used for two different things. The milk will be used for the mixture of the ranch, which uh, is the very last step, and the mixture of the egg, and um, which is right next to it, right here. The eggs are but you only need two, um, brown or whatever, whatever other egg you would rather. Um, and then over here, the spices, we have paprika, we have just a black, you know, pepper corn grinder, salt, and seafood spice. And a seafood seasoning spice is something I found personal. First step is to make the egg mixture. You're probably going to want two eggs because it makes a stickier mixture. So you're going to want to crack them on a hard surface. And then we're going to want to add a little bit of milk. Just about, you know, go eyeball it, it nothing specific, but definitely not more than a few ounces. So these are the ingredients that we're going to need in the bowl with the cornmeal, the flour, the salt and all the other air seasonings and we're going to put them in this bowl with equal portions. So once we put all our ingredients with the cornmeal and the flour with equal, the equal portions and the seasonings uh, sparsely put on to your discretion, we're going to mix it as well as we can. So at this point you're probably going to want to put oil in before you start cutting up the pickles. So we're going to place a little bit of oil, just a little bit, probably maybe about a few centimeters above the top of the thing and we're just going to put simmer on low for a little while just until we're ready to actually cut. So now we're going to cut the pickles. We're just going to use kosher dills. It's pretty important to use just the dills. Um, I found that in the past that other type of pickles don't cut, don't like taste very well like half sours or spicy pickles especially. You might want to stay away from that. So uh, you can do it two different ways. One is just to cut them in, in slices, just like this. Or you can cut them in threes or fours and make spears. I prefer the uh, sl little slices myself, though. So now we're going to batter the pickles and start with the egg mixture and then go straight into the flour, and cornmeal, and other spice mixture. Just like that, we're going to throw it a little bit, and it should stick, and we should have something like that. Okay, next, we're going to fry the uh, mixed pickles. So this is what they look like, supposed to be look like after they go through the mixture. So we're going to throw a few in, just be careful not to burn your hand on the oil. And uh, right here, so you're going to see that the bubbles kind of come up. Now, depending on how hot the oil is, you your fried pickles might cook faster than you need, so grab a spoon like this and just keep kind of bringing them to the surface, flip them over, and when they're ready, you're going to want to bring them out just like this, like so they're golden brown, and put them right on a, a plate that's waiting. Our last step is to put the ranch in our little dish, and then we're going to mix it with a little whole milk. So put a good size in there, pretty much half the ranch bottle size. Add a little milk. This helps it get a more little liquidy. And enjoy!